Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Radiant Central and I'm your host Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So I've been away this past week. We went to Lombok, Indonesia to go and visit my husband's family. My husband's from Lombok. Most people know he's Indonesian and he's actually from the jungle. <laughs> Born and raised in the middle of the jungle and his family still lives there and he has a house there. And so we go a few times a year. And it's, it's always a pleasure to go there because you're in the middle of the jungle. Everyone pretty much just lives off of, off of the earth, pretty much. Everyone grows their own food and, and raises their own animals and hunts. And, and it's pretty much very simple. They've only, I think recently in the past few years, got electricity. When my husband was growing up, there was no electricity, no running water, nothing. So while I was there, I was, I was thinking about the internet and, and also about a lot of the challenges people have nowadays with either internet addiction or just feeling off balance that they're they're always on the internet and always in front of a computer screen and and sometimes it's just a little too much and I know for myself I'm always challenged with that as well because I think when you're doing a lot of work too on a computer then you tend to be online as well and you just feel like you're wasting or spending way too much time online when you could be out doing other things and so while I was in Lombok normally I do actually can get a little a faint <laughs> internet connection just to download my emails pretty much that's about it but this time around I couldn't even get a signal at all and so it was a good week of just no internet access nothing and and that was nice as well so Today I'd like to actually offer some tips and suggestions to those that are kind of struggling with finding more balance with the internet and with computer and with technology today. And also just offer some, some suggestions and some things that I do, give, giving my, my own life as an example. So the first suggestion I have for people is to try and do one day, at least one day or a few days of no internet, no emails, no nothing turn that computer off or if you have to use the computer you just use it for the work you need to do whether it's schoolwork or or work work but not to be online surfing the internet and try and do like a whole day or a few days seeing what it's like not not being online all the time I know for a lot of people it's it's almost like fasting you know it's kind of like when someone's fasting from food right they they spend a day on liquids or on water and then when they return to it after they do the fast, they're able to find more of a balance with the food that they're eating and finding more quality foods and, and taking better care of their health and things like that. And I find it's the same thing with the internet. Like I know a lot of people that tell me that when they spend just even one day of not being on the internet, how much better they feel, how much more energy they have and how when they return to getting back online and, and doing stuff on the internet, that they really are more mindful as to what they're doing and how much time they're spending and they try their best to make that extra effort not to be so much in front of a computer screen and doing other things. So the first thing is try and find at least one day a week or one day a month where you are internet free, okay? The second suggestion is to organize your time. Block out your time every day to be spending on the computer. Organize your time on the computer. So instead of having your computer on all day where you're getting sort of like email alerts 24 hours a day seven days a week instead be online for a certain amount of time every day and that's the time where you're checking your emails you're responding to things and surfing the internet so i can use myself as an example for me first thing in the morning that's when i check my emails and that's when i do my best to respond to emails and and if i have extra time i might surf the internet in the afternoon and then I turn the computer off and then in the afternoon if I'm making a video then I'll do the video editing on the computer and upload it and at that time I'll check my internet my emails again uh, I try my best not to actually do any internet stuff at night I used to actually turn my computer off by five o'clock and actually put it away like put it in a closet I have a, a laptop so I put it in a closet and I'd be done for the day and I would spend my late afternoons and my evenings doing other things doing things I enjoy off of the computer and I found that I have a lot more balance these days because I have a newborn baby to, I'm taking care of that my I, I don't have a regular schedule with everything everything's kind of revolves around her that a lot of times i might have to do things late at night on the computer so i don't really have that schedule much anymore but i i miss it i miss turning the computer off by five o'clock and being finished with it i felt i had way more balance with that 
The third suggestion I have is to not to be doing two things at once on the computer. So when you're on the computer, you're just on the computer. You're never eating in front of the computer. You're not drinking in front of the computer. You're not smoking cigarettes in front of the computer. You're not, you're not distracting yourself. Okay, so like, because a lot of people end up like having their lunch in front of the computer or their breakfast, lunch, and dinner in front of the computer or they're chain smoking in front of the computer and they're doing a lot of actions in front of a computer mindlessly and if someone's trying to like lose weight, then the last thing you want to be doing is mindlessly eating in front of the computer or mindlessly snacking. If someone's trying to quit smoking, the last thing you want to be doing is chain smoking in front of the computer. Okay, it's, it's going against your goals. So it's better to keep things separate, you know, so that when you're on the computer, you're just there to focus on what you're doing. You know, if you're on the internet, you're just on the internet. You're not eating something or drinking something at the same time. The next suggestion I have is to be selective <laughs> as to what are you visiting on the internet. You know, this too will cut your time on the internet because a lot of times people waste so much time like just reading like useless information. They're gathering like just negative useless information on the internet and when you're more selective and more mindful as to like what are you visiting, what are you reading, what are you taking in, what are you looking at, then I th you'll refine your time on the internet, you'll sort of refine your search <laughs> and you'll find that you spend way less time. A lot of times people are spending too much time use looking at useless stuff, you know, and it, it's just, it's filling your mind with like negative information or, or just bad images, all of that, you know, that it's like, why not think about what you're visiting, what you're doing, what you're searching and also evaluate it, you know, is it creating value in your life or is it just dragging you down? Is it sapping out your energy? I know for like a lot of people, a lot of the social media, it really, it, it gets to them, it drags them down, it fills them up with a lot of negativity. They're, you know, they're reading arguments and debates or, or just bad information, you know? So if you find that like some of the stuff is really dragging you down, then take a break from it, you know, or stop visiting it or, or just monitor how much of, of the stuff that you're exposing yourself to. Okay, and then I would, on that line, I would also suggest is thinking, you know, what was your life like before the internet? What were you doing? What were your hobbies? What were your interests? How were you spending your day? Who were you spending your days with? A lot of times people are so connected to the internet that they're not connected to people anymore. They're not connected to their interests anymore. They're not out doing things. They're at home in front of a screen. And so it's, it's important to sit down and think about, you know, what are the things I used to love to do before the internet came? And start doing those things. And it might be reading a real book, <laughs> or it might be hanging out with friends, talking on the phone, going to see a movie, going to a museum, going, going to listen to live music, or listening to music at home, or getting creative, doing art, or like so many hobbies, so many things to explore. You know, that it's, it's a right to be on the computer, but it shouldn't be everything. It shouldn't be all your free time. You need to sort of divide your time with other things, other things that are social, other things that are creative, other things that use your mind in different ways. And on that line, the last thing that I would suggest too is that when you are on the internet and you do have a portable device, why not go and do it where there's people around? You know, instead of being at home on the internet, if you've got the time, why not go to a coffee shop? and use the internet there. Go to a library, go to a juice bar, go, go somewhere where there's at least people around and there's some sort of interaction as opposed to always being home in front of a screen. That way at least you, you are getting a little bit of a people fix at the same time as you're getting an internet fix. All right, so those are my suggestions. And yeah, and so I'm wishing you guys a super fabulous day and I'll see you again soon.